Hi everyone, welcome to Football Friday Rewind. I'm Dave Walls. Great now football fans, frankly, we're used to losing. And despite plenty of effort, the school posted a 44 game losing streak from 1991 through 1996. But change was coming and one of the most decorated quarterbacks in VHSL history would help the Hawks take off for greatness. <laughs> Just two years removed from their first playoff win in school history, Gretna found themselves thinking about a deep run in 2003. Team! Coach Rob Sensney took over the rebuilding from Robert Prunty a year earlier, and optimism was high. I thought last year we had a chance. If we could have beaten Liberty last year, I think we would have had a good chance. Um, we got a great chance now. I mean, you, you don't get there unless you got a chance at it. And they got to realize that we got to grab hold and, and go with it. We need a big hit right now. Gone were the days of the Hawks scoring 18 points in the entire season. With their new spread offense, Gretna put up 50 points a game average. Add that to a punishing defense that allowed just under eight a game with five shutouts in the season, and the Hawks soared through a perfect regular season campaign. The thing is, you can't have a big head. See, every game you have to take by one by one. So we go out there and execute and do our game plan. And we should be all right. Football was fun again in Gretna, and no one was more exciting to watch than Vic Hall. The quarterback took over every game he played in, both with the arms and with his feet. His four-year career was one for the record books. His 13,770 total yards are the most ever in VHSL history and top five in the nation. Hall is responsible for 171 touchdowns, the second most in state history, and just the fifth quarterback to pass for more than 100 touchdowns in his career. We're going to try to pick up from next year, you know. We're getting better each day at practice, and we're trying to, you know, just come on from last year and keep the momentum going. So we're just trying to get better and win. The toughest challenge in 2003 came on the road and in the mud in the state semifinals at Graham. The G-Men had talent, including future Super Bowl champion Ahmad Bradshaw in their backfield, but no one was slowing down Hall and the Hawks. Winning 34-22, Gretna would play in their first state championship. For us in Gretna, we never did nothing like this. I feel like we got to win this game because if we come this far, we got to win. 13 now. But it would be a full team effort in the championship against Monticello. Rico Reynolds ran for four touchdowns, three in the first half, while Hall had over 300 yards combined through the ground and air. Gretna completes the dream season 48 to 18 for their first state championship. We came out and played hard and did what the coach told us we would win, and that's what we did. I got a ring on my finger. I'm going home 14 0 undefeated. I feel pretty good. And the good times didn't end there. Gretna kept winning in 2004, winning a second straight state title and route to winning 38 straight games. To date, Gretna has won five state titles and soaring to heights only Hawks can reach. It just lets you know that hard work pays off. Our coaches push us to the limit. I got, we come out and work hard and we get it done. A whole lot of people, they always told me that they thought I would never be nothing, never amount to nothing, but now I got something nobody can never take from me. State championship ring. For Football Friday Rewind, I'm Dave Walls, ABC 13 Sports.